Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today let's have a look of, of this uh, this image. So it's quite interesting, but um, unfortunately um, Revit is not good uh, uh, for modeling these shape. Okay, so um, but maybe so I found this quite interesting. So I'll see this this little you know connection between different uh, um, we can have a play we can um, see let's let's see how how much we can do uh, in Revit okay so let's do it so first I'm going to uh, we can just uh, create a project and first I'm going to uh, so Let's have a look. So I'm going to create these uh, rooms, but uh, of course it's not going to be all this organic shape. But so uh, we are going to do some um, Revit style. Okay, so wall four meter high. Okay, so this is the Revit style space. Um, let's uh, copy them. Okay, so. I'll make them higher, okay, and maybe eight, uh, nine. That's fine. Okay, so now um, let me just close close them. So I'm going to use floor. Okay, so floor. Uh, oh, good. Oh, select all of them. Extend to wall face. Uh, Okay, so to match the edge of the wall, and also maybe uh, let's just do roof or, or maybe ceiling. Okay, so uh, uh, sketch ceiling, and also to match the ex exterior face of the wall. Okay, so maybe I'll just make it four meter to. Okay, so on the top, same. Uh, I'm going to do this floor. Okay, another one, this finish. So this one will be nine meter. So this one will be four meter. Okay, and also ceiling, CS, create a similar. So uh, pick wall, just make sure it's on the exterior face of the wall. So this one will be four plus four meters, that's a meter. Okay, so and another one CS create a similar. So pick 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 wall. <laughs> and also finish. This one will be nine meter plus four, thirteen meter. Okay, so now we have so because we use pick wall, so you can change the shape. So this uh, floor and the ceiling will follow the wall. Okay, so follow the wall. Okay, so now um, and also maybe I'll change the material. So instead of use this double brick, I'll SA select all, I'll change them to a, a generic wall. Okay, so with the finish as material. Okay, so finish. And also the floor, I'm going to create duplicate. I'll change the change the material to finish. Okay, so it's the same material, so this this way we can join them to make it just like a, a, a mess to get rid of the line between them. Okay, so same. So if you duplicate, create, uh, just uh, change the material, I'll just get rid of this. Okay, so delete, type in finish. Okay, so finish is the material. So then you can join them. Okay, so it looks like a messing. Okay, so um, we we'll do the same. Oh, so I think we need to change this to uh, the other one. So now we can join them. Uh, join them. Ah, oh, it's not working. Generic wall, floor. Yeah. Join them again. Yeah. Sometimes, so this is a little trick uh, 
tip tip for you. Sometimes, although you know, because、uh, these two supposed to be joined together, but for some reason it's not. You can still see this line between them.、Uh, you can do this. So let's just drag this up, unjoin, and put it down. Uh, let's try again. Yeah, all good. Ah,、uh, four meter. Okay, so yeah, let's. Uh, okay, I'll stop here. Oh,、uh, let's just ignore that. So the next step is、uh, I'm going to let's go back to here. I'm going to create some of these、uh, connection between different uh, different uh, different room, different、uh, space. Okay, so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to、um, create a so. You can. What you can do is you can create a model in place, mass. Okay, and and with this、uh, model in place mass, and then what you can do is just first set a plan. Okay, set a plan. So pick a plan. So you want to draw a shape. So for example, this one. So you just need to pick this face first, and then draw a shape. Okay, so. Something like this, and then once again, just set work plan again. So pick another face, so this one, and create another shape. So now we have these two, and then you can create a form from these two. But um, it's um, yeah, the shape is not quite right. Um, this is uh, not. Very easy to, to to do, and then you probably need to、um, add more shape between them, and it's a little bit hard to 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 pick a a point. So、um, let's、uh, cancel this one. I'm going to show you a very uh, uh, easier, slight slightly easier way to do it. So I'm going to create a family. So it will be generic model adaptive, and in this family, I'm going to place one point. Okay, so anywhere here, select this point, make it adaptive. Okay, so then I'm going to create a model line, a model line, and draw on a circle. For example, draw on work plan, set a work plan, pick this horizontal work plan, and draw a circle. Something like this, and then I'm going to create a radius parameter. Oh, sorry, yeah, radius dimension, and then create a radius parameter.、Um, a radius or diameter? Maybe I'll just do a diameter dimension, diameter. Okay, so and then create a diameter parameter. Let's call it D. I'm going to use instance parameter and OK, and. I think that's it. So load this into the project. Okay. So now, if I go to 3D view, so you can you will see I can just place it directly onto any face. Okay. So I'll place it here, and then also I can change the size. So for example, this, and I'll place another one. CS create a similar another one here. So now we can select these two family in a. Oh, actually, we can't create any face, so we need to go create a mass. Okay, mass, and then. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, we need to place these families in here. So see, we need to under.、Uh, we need in create a mass first, and then place component. So let's do it again. So place another one. Just ignore this one and this one. Okay, so. So these two family, they are in this mass model in place mass. Now we can select these two family and create a form.、Um, looks like something is not right. That's okay. Don't give up. So what we can do is we can select the point here and select the point here, and we can create a spline through points. And then with this one, it's probably because the the relation between this face and this face it's 
yeah, it's, it's a little bit hard for Revit to understand how to create this form, but they, it's, it's fine. We can try to, you know, uh, change the shape of this a little bit. So with this line, we just created, we can, we can just, uh, we can change the shape of this line. So for example, I will just place uh, a couple of points on this line and select this point, make point dri driving same. Now we can adjust, you know, the line. Okay, so, and then you can just do it. So uh, now we can, we can place more points on this. So let's see if we can so create another on this, can I, yeah, so you'll see, let me just place it here, so just make sure this one's yeah, perpendicular to the direction of this line. So now we have one, two, three, three uh, profile, so we can try to create a, so this is the, this is the shape. And also if you want to, you can add more. So maybe uh, I'll delete this one. I'll add some more, okay? So uh, create, uh, create a component. So maybe one here, one here, one in the middle. And this one, maybe I'll make it bigger, um, not too big, two meter. So this one, oops, sorry, I double clicked. Not too fast. So select this one and two meter so now let's try um, and create a form yeah so you can always uh, adjust the, sh the, s the location of this profile and also the size of this so maybe this one I'll make it smaller um, yeah not uh, not good but we can always change the shape of this, uh, change the size of these profiles. And then, so if you can, uh, let's change to shade SD. Yeah, so, and also if you want to change the, uh, change the shape of this, you can always do this. It's quite um, easy to adjust the shape, right? And maybe this one need to be slightly bigger. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So, and then once you, you're happy, so you can finish this mess. So currently it's still mess. So what you can do is you can create a wall. Okay. So WA, I'm going to use the generic model. Um, I'm not sure about 300. Oh, let's try pick, uh, place, uh, pick faces. Okay. So pick this mess, pick this mess. Okay. So now you will see this is the same material. Of, let me just uh, turn off turn off the, the mask so you can go here. That's it. And also um, you can still, looks like uh, we can still see these um, families. So that's that's okay. They are generic model. So if you want to, you can select all SA, EH, so hide them. Okay, so and then that's it. So it's it's not perfect, but um, yeah, because all these it's it, in Revit, it's very it, you, you won't be able to uh, uh, very easily uh, create the you know make it organic shape. But at least this one you can do it. So let's try let's try another one. Okay, so let's do another one. So just do this. So first, oh hang on. Let me show the mess. Okay, so now first create a model in place, mess, and okay, and okay, and then component, place it here, place another one maybe here, and then with these two components, because there's a adaptive point, and also another, so control select, and then you can create a spline. And then on this spline, we can place uh, some points and then select this point, make it uh, uh, driving, make point driving. Okay, so then you can, so, and also, so see this direction. So these directions are relative to the, the direction of the line. 
what you can do is you can also use a spacebar to change them to x y z okay if you if you want to okay so now that's all good and then we can add more more uh, profile so just go to component so just add some more here and then you can change the size of so maybe we can just create this shape first and then you can change the size of um, these so maybe three meter something like that uh, if you don't maybe i'll just move this to here yeah better and this one let's make it bigger so 27 maybe and maybe move to here so and then you can all you can still adjust this shape and maybe change the size if you want to and once finished just finish this mass wa wall and pick a wall and then go uh, play pick faces so pick this pick this and then you just need to turn off the turn off the uh, mass and also if you want to sa select all these uh, generic model the circle the profiles eh that's it and and that's it um if you want to you can so let's have a have a some settings so for example uh, uh uncheck the show edges smooth oh no not smooth uh try um yeah maybe shadow ambient shadow i think that's uh yeah just uh, that's it okay um that's all for today um if you have any question please let me know and i'll see you next time thank you bye